Hello and welcome to Edinburgh Watch Company. My name is Jonathan and on today's video I'm going to talk to you about and show you a lovely pre-owned Rolex Sea Dweller that we have just taken in stock. Now you can find out more about this watch by visiting our website at edinburghwatchcompany.co.uk and there you'll find pricing, specification and photographs. But of course if there's anything else you'd like to know about it then please just get in touch with us directly. So this particular watch is one which we sold unworn uh, earlier in 2018. Uh, the papers are dated May. Uh, it has been worn probably five or six times. Uh, it came back in as a part exchange and we just had a very, very light polish uh, to the watch just to make sure it's absolutely perfect for you. So it looks, it looks like new now. Now this is a full set. So it has the outer box here, it has the inner box, it has the Rolex warranty card, and of course, that'll take you up to May 2023 and the instruction manuals too. So, this particular model is the 50th anniversary watch. Um, we have been lucky to have had a few of these through now, and I think these are going to be a great collector's watch for the future. The 50th anniversary watch, of course, for the, as it sounds, to celebrate 50 years of this fantastic sports watch. And to do that, Rolex have really made something quite special here. So, um, while it looks at a distance very similar to any other Sea Dweller, there are a couple of key changes to it. Firstly, in size and also the movement that they've chosen to put into this watch. So, historically, the Sea Dweller has been a 40mm watch. The ceramic model came out for a few years. Again, they still stayed in 40mm. For those that wanted to dive very, very deep or have just the ultimate in the diving watch, they brought out the deep sea, which took you down to 12,800 foot. Now that was a 44 mil, but the case being much, much thicker. With this 50th anniversary one, however, they went for somewhere in between. Something that perhaps has that look, but also a little bit more wearable. So the case size is a 43 mil. And having worn one myself for some time, it is a really, really comfortable watch to wear and that little bit thinner than a deep sea for sort of everyday wear. The movement, however, is the new 3235 movement. So this is Rolex's latest movement. It's a superlative chronometer, performs to within plus or minus two seconds per day and gives you a 70 hour power reserve. So it really is just the latest technology that Rolex have brought out that they're starting to introduce now in some other models within the range, but it's really, really quite special. But aside from that, then this has that look and feel of a sea dweller. And that's why people specifically go out that little bit different than a Submariner. It's more expensive, but it is that, that big different. So on that note, let's go and have a closer look at the watch now, and we'll show you some of that detail we were talking about. So let's start off with the top here, looking at the bezel. The bezel here in stainless steel, uh, the insert of course is ceramic. So this all started off really back in 2007 with the Rolex GMT Master. Um, then the Submariner came out uh, in about 2010. Um, the Sea Dweller SD4000 came out for a period of two or three years. And that is the very much the look and feel now that Rolex are sticking to. Why? Well, because with the aluminium it could pick up light scratches or dents. The ceramic is certainly much, much stronger. The crystal here, quite familiar and very, very strong, with a big difference here on this watch compared to the, the normal sea dwellers that you'd have seen in the past, or indeed the deep sea, is the fact that there is now the Cyclops uh, magnification glass, giving you a times two magnification on it. And uh, that is a very new look to the sea dweller, um, but I'm sure Rolex have um, sort of engaged with their customers and understood what their customers want and that's how they've, they've uh, given the look to the watch. The dial itself, it's that classic black Rolex dial, you know, with Rolex writing on it here, you have the hour markers here with that luminous coating on it again, ensuring it's very, very easy to read at night time. That loom is also extended to the hands and to the second hand too. And then, of course, you have this red writing on it here, which is just particularly unique uh, in the Sea Dweller. Uh, seen past on the Rolex Submariner that had the red writing, and of course the Sea Dweller, the, what we call the double red, also had red writing. The prices of these now are sort of 10,000 to 100,000, so really quite collectible. Moving on to the side of it here, um, you can see, again, 
slightly thicker than a Submariner, but not too thick. And being the sea dweller, this also has the helium escape valve here. So that's an automatic feature that allows the pressure to be released from the watch if you're going diving with it uh, very, very deep. For those that wish to dive and to mark the remaining oxygen left in the tank, this has the unidirectional bezel here, so you can just literally set it wherever you want to, and you'll easily be able to see how much air you have left in your tank. On this side of the watch here, again, this are these case lugs here protecting the, the crown, um, and the crown actually screws into the side of the case there. You'll see it has a very, very nice polished finish that's actually mirrored through the side of the bracelet as well. Yet on the top part here, and running all the way through the Oyster bracelet, it's all satinized as well. So that's, I guess, traditionally what you'd see in the Rolex tool watches. Um, again, unlike the, the GMTs and the Daytonas that have polished center licks, it doesn't quite show the scratches so easily. It's a very, very strong bracelet. This, however, also benefits from what Rolex called the Glide Lock bracelet. So this is a, a new feature that came out on the deep sea. And uh, what we first of all have to do here is release the safety clip there. So you can see this lovely Rolex logo. And this opens here before we open that. And then you can see you have a solid steel um, clasp in here. So very, very strong. What this, however, allows you to do is to very, very easily adjust the bracelet to suit your needs. And so what you can do here is you can actually um, slide this bracelet inside the clasp here. It just moves in and out. You can see that movement there. It also has on it, uh, which we've actually got in the box here, uh, an extension clasp there should you wish to use it for diving. But unless you need that, we tend to remove it because it just feels that little bit more comfortable without it. So that's the actual clasp. Let me actually show you what it looks like on a wrist now. And I've got quite a big wrist, um, about eight inch wrist there, but just gives you an idea of how it looks. Now, so it's really very comfortable, not too thick. Just give you a perspective there. And it's just a really, really good all round watch to wear. So that is our 50th anniversary Sea Dweller. Now at the time of shooting this video, we are very lucky we can offer you a choice of three. We have a 2017 absolutely mint one, we have this May 2018 one, and we have a June 2018 one. That's going to be a rare time where we're lucky enough to have all three, but again, I think a great collector's watch. So thank you so much for taking the time to join today's video. Now we've got lots more videos coming along with all our latest collections. So if you'd like to be informed when a new watch comes into stock, just click there and that'll subscribe you to our channel. Thanks for joining today. Bye-bye.